What's up guys, King J here, coming at you with another video, hoping you're all doing awesome as always, and welcome to another Tekken 6 Revisited video from the chicken and pig farm here in Chao Kao Mahao. Yeah, that's a city. That's how fucking educated I am. But, so I'm gonna talk a little bit about Steve in Tekken 6 BR. He had a very interesting transformation in this game, as you saw in the title, like one hitbox to fist them all, and that's exactly what happened. One hitbox was changed, and it changed the entire game, literally. And it threw Steve from mid-low tier to top five, or top three, or top two. Take your pick. He was a monster in this game. I mean, first off, let's just demonstrate the damage. This is not even an optimal combo. This is a small combo, and I dropped it. Okay, I got the angle wrong. Oh no. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. <laughs> it's, it's not even hard. Okay, there we go. Now look at the damage. That's 118 damage. And as you see at the start here, the stage is so small that I can only do a mini juggle uh, into the wall combo. But as, as you can see, the, the wall damage itself with Steve it's just, uh, it's insane. It's like, uh, he had the perfect bound tools, Steve. So, Wild Man being a bound move and Ford for 2 being bound move, you couldn't ask for better bound tools. And if you learn to do, this was pretty hard and it's gone now. But 4 to one flicker into duck ca cancel into wild man worked. It was very technical to do, but if you mastered it, you could, could do some really crazy juggles. Uh, well, I mean, I, I suck ass, unfortunately. Okay, here we go. God damn, I'm good. <laughs> yes, I am. Uh, that was a, quite the psycho laugh, though. Jesus, main man. Uh, well, I mean, I'm a Kazuya player. But, so, his damage was insane. But, so, what was it I said about a hitbox changing everything? Well, it was Ford for 2. And if you remember, in Tekken 4, where Steve was introduced, he was top 2. So a lot of people picked Steve. Oh, he's so strong! And then in Tekken 5, broken. Even more people. I love Steve! Everyone picked Steve. Completely broken. And then for DR, he was nerfed, but he gained a lot of tools, like uh, Duck 1. You know, he, he was still very strong, top tier. Then came Tekken 6.0. Now, you have not played this game. It was only released on arcades. This is Tekken 6 BR. Tekken 6.0, Steve wasn't very good. He was as technical as he is now, but the output wasn't very strong. Um, he had gained the down for two, this uh, counter it launching tool. But you could, it was almost a frame perfect bound you had to do afterwards with Ford for two. It, it was so hard to do, very few people could do it. Um, so he's not very strong. Steve players are crying. <laughs> uh, that was a pretty perfect impression. <laughs> Something like that. Uh, Steve players, you know, they're very sensitive about his tier, tier placing, probably because they picked him up in Tekken 4, Tekken 5. So with the nerf for Tekken 6.0, they were very dissatisfied. They called Bandai Namco daily. Ah! And we threw the phone down, you know, so the developers ah, got t t tinnitus, what's it called? Um, so they felt they had to do something to Steve, who was like mid-low. All they did was, let's change the hitbox of Ford for 2. Let's just change the hitbox. It's gonna hit lower now, but hitbox is gonna be lower vertically. That little change, and I was there, you know, in 2008 when this happened, and it was just... You have no idea what a little hitbox change did to this character. And that is what I'm gonna detail in this video. And it was just so interesting to see how it just 
perfectly fit his tool bag. So suddenly, this minus nine down for two, that's perfectly safe, homing counter it launcher that crushes highs. Or some highs. Uh, and it's got enormous range, this move. Enormous. You, you see this? So suddenly, you see that? Very easy. Oh, shit. So immediately, okay, with that lower hitbox, Steve players realized, oh, it's suddenly super easy and consistent to get the follow-up juggle. This alone was very powerful. And then they also realized that, holy shit, does that mean we can do it after Steve's uh, punch parry? And this one's gonna be difficult. There we go. Yep, that's after a punch parry. And that is slightly harder, but it's not too hard. My brother, Steve player, he could do that every time. Uh, pretty much every time. Um, so that was insane. So suddenly, Ford for two meant... Oh, sorry, no counter it. Ford for two meant down for two was considered a super strong, stable, consistent launcher. And his punch parry launched. But what really flipped the entire game was that, was that one day people understood that, holy shit, his flicker, which is insanely strong. You've seen these options, perfectly safe. High mid, or high, 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 uh, oh sorry, high, uh, high, high mid, you know, you, you have so many mix-ups here. Uh, but the high, high version, that's a counter it launcher, and which... This is also a counter at launcher, the two hits here. This turned into a fucking launcher. That alone just catapulted Steve uh, in the tears. Like, boom! He had a rocket strapped to his ass. It's not even hard to do. And uh, so suddenly his flicker game became probably the scariest thing in the game. You know, all the setups he, he could do into that. And just the, the absurd damage I showed you guys. Like, an open field and uh, at the wall. Just uh, ridiculous. Uh, and of course, uh, well I mean not so of course, but at the wall this also meant down back free too. If you had the correct angle and some... Uh, uh, Steve players were really good at doing this. I mean, Dumbek 3 2 into Dumbek 3 2 on its own is very strong. I don't think you can do this today in Tekken 7. Uh, but if you got the angle right here, you can actually get a 4 4 2 uh, wall combo afterwards. It is a bit technical though, you, you need the correct angle. But again, my, my brother would be godlike at this. Uh, did even this work? Oh shit. Oh, that does work. Okay, that that's what he did. Sorry, I'm playing on a pad. That's the only reason I'm dropping stuff. Uh... Okay, so what he did was down back free two. That there, you see? Down 1 plus 2, which is guaranteed, knocks them into the air. I mean, I, I'm sorry, but it's playing on a pad. Jesus. And he would hope to knock people up on the wall with that, you see? That, that actually worked quite often. Okay, I'm just gonna give it one more attempt. But, uh, you know, as usual, I'm making everything look difficult. Uh, this probably isn't too difficult. You see? That is pretty fucking crazy, to be honest. 
Um, and then, of course, he had all of these other amazing tools that you associate with Steve. You know, back one was still a beast of a move. Um, he gained uh, the peekaboo, which had, uh, you know, down forward 1-1. One, uh, one, one. Uh, he still has this, you know, mid-mid. Uh, highly hit confirmable was actually doing down forward 1 into 2. Uh, like that, into guaranteed ground ground move. Um, it was very easy. I don't know if this still is in the game, but it was super easy to hit confirm, actually, a counter hit shoulder. So that uh, step sway 4-1 uh, into 2. But, uh, yes. Uh, oh, oh, by the way, uh, god damn it. So, Ford for 2 changed this into a launcher, down for 2, uh, you know, parry launcher. But it also gave such ridiculous Okiseme. You know, it's a, I've told you've seen, it's a bound move. So, thing is, he would do Ford for 2, you go right into the ground, down back 2 is guaranteed. But if you did anything other than just lie on the ground and, and do nothing, that shit would. Uh, bound you, you know. If you tr if you try to stand up, boom, hit you because it it hits so low. That move was ridiculous in this game. I'm I'm actually gonna set him to back roll. There we go. That's what would happen. Um, if you try to do a stand up kick, you know, low, mid, or roll, anything, this long range, low hitting mid would just bound you. It, it, this was a ridiculous move when it came to Okiseme. Uh, and so, such a great whiff punish. Like, ah, oh, hits from across the stage. Down back to, or again, they, they try to do anything other than just l l lay down. And you got the full combo. Um, but yeah, I can't stress enough how powerful this is. Uh, this is insane. Um, yeah, uh, there are probably Steve experts who could tell you even more about this character in this game, but uh, what was so interesting was the change to Ford for 2, that hitbox, and how it completely changed the character. All of this stuff was not possible before, but suddenly down for 2 became, a, you know, it's his best move pretty much, because it reliably gave a combo, punch parry was a launcher, flicker 1 up 1 is a launcher. Uh, Ford for 2 suddenly becomes the best Okiseme okay, tool in the game, basically. Uh, crazy stuff. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for listening to me. Take care of yourself.